So finally, we're going to come to the, the fourth and last position, which is uh, the right flank or um, hepato renal view. Strictly speaking, we're not really on the right flank or, or indeed looking at the liver or right kidney. Um, what we're going to do is just come slightly right of midline, uh, about at the level of the um, umbilicus. And all we're going to do then is just fan up and down slightly. Um, what we're more likely to see actually, rather than liver and, and right kidney, will be small intestine, plus or minus maybe the tail of the spleen if that's extended across the midline. Um, because this is the, the most dependent site that we're going to be scanning, if you have a positive uh, sign here, it's usually fairly dramatic. So we'll see uh, often quite a lot of um, uh, anechoic regions, and, and, and usually they'll be, they'll be highlighting free-floating bits of omentum and or uh, individual loops of bowel so that you can, you can sort of really see that they stand out. Um, <coughs> False positives in this site mostly are going to relate to, uh, to mucosa and muscularis layers of small intestine. So again, both appear quite like anechoic on, or, or hypoechoic on, on the scan and can be mistaken. Um, just a way of checking that um, is if you see what you suspect might be fluid, um, then if you just rotate the probe uh, from longitudinal section into transverse section or vice versa, then if you have a, a longitudinal section through a piece of intestine you'll find that as you rotate it it becomes uh, a, a circular cross section and kind of looks a little bit like a hamburger um, and similarly if you rotate uh, back again that then elongates out uh, so you can sort of differentiate that from free fluid and um, the other thing that you might find is if you see an, an abdominal mass which has a, a necrotic core to it uh, that can appear anechoic as well uh, but hopefully you'll be able to, if you fan backwards and forwards, you'll be able to isolate that structure as, as being sort of con fluid contained within the mass. <coughs> Again, as with all the other sites, uh, the presence of any free fluid constitutes a positive result. Um, with all of these sites, if you're in doubt, uh, the easiest thing to do is not worry about it too much, but to repeat uh, in... in uh, varying period of time but so long as the animal is stable about four hours is fine uh, more frequently if, if there's concern um, and obviously if there's developing uh, fluid if there's a, a bleed or uh, what have you then then hopefully the next time around it will be more cut and dried as to, to whether there's a positive response or not. <coughs>